So, we have cleared five gyms. Now, this is the point in the story where they just shove the evil team and the last few gyms into an hour or two of gameplay. So we're at the final stretch, guys. This is it. We're ending off our journey, starting off by climbing another tower. And this one's bigger. Son of a... Blah, blah, political jokes. Finally, Game Freak gives us a reward that's actually good for doing a long and tedious quest. Seeing Giovanni here it makes me realize that, wow, Team Rocket took over a company. That totally won't happen two more times in the future. So, the Master Ball can only be used once on one Pokemon. Pokemon Origins lied to me again! After that last gym, I'm hoping that we finally get a gym that's easy to navigate. Frick. So this is a ghost-type gym. Shoutouts to the type that was as heavily nerfed as Greninja and Super Smash Bros. Hello, hunters. The Sheep Killer here, and welcome to what my love life looks like. Oh yeah, just walk right into that burned-down abandoned house. That's totally smart. You got... another key? Seriously? I could take on the gym now. Or, I could get some legendaries to completely cheat these next two gyms. Hmm... Welcome to Seafoam Islands. The... Cave. On a single island. Ah, strength puzzles. My favorite! I feel like the devil had something to do with the development of these games. Just stay in the frickin' ball! Oh, come on, lady. We all know that Red doesn't float. He sinks like a rock. Just like my love. Yeah. By the way, guys, I bet you didn't know until right now with me telling you that I was a girl in part one of this series, but since part two I've been a boy. No, it's not anything crazy. When I had to start over, I just decided to be red. He's all as silent as I am. He also has a better love life. Take me down to the river. Oh, here we go. Wow, this dungeon actually seems really cool. Let's hope they don't totally butcher it in the next generation. Well... This would be Psycho's favorite place. And now, ladies and gentlemen- Oh shoot, I can't say men, that will offend people. And now, ladies and crud, I can't say ladies either. And now, humans- wait, is that bad too? I don't know what's bad and what's not anymore because this world's in a worse condition than my love life. And now, people- dang it! And now, I present to you the most creative Pokemon design of all time! It's an upside down Pokeball, with eyes. It's awesome. Oh no, guys, the keyring Pokemon has come to attack me because I said there was a more creative Pokemon design than it. Please send help! And remember, kids, no Pokemon design is more creative than Klefki. There, will you leave me alone now? Make a small of a million dollars? And yes, guys, just like the real, really freaking clever, I always have to slip a Trump joke in, even when it's completely unnecessary. There was another thing he made unnecessary jokes on. What's his other weird stuff on them, too? Hmm, what was it again? Oh yeah, I remember. It went like, this horrible game design reminds me of Sonic and Richard 2. And blah, 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 U.S. politics. Well, there you have it. I made all the generic RFC jokes that suit this channel. Now, let's get back to the actual comedy, shall we? And yes, people, I actually got a Pokemon in the thumbnail this time instead of an anime character. Yeah, wow, I know, I moved away from clickbait. You can thank me later. For now, let's catch us a bird number two. Stay in the ball, you piece of first try. Yeah... You know the Pokedex lies when it thinks that a legendary bird is smaller than me! ME! The loser, me! Yeah, it's lying to us. More so the Pokemon Origins does. Now that we have an instant win with us, let's go take on the gym. Hmm, it's pretty hot in here. Maybe I should pack some burn heals. Nah, I'm sure I'll be fine. What? A gym that's not badly designed? Wow. And not only that, but I'll let you skip the trainers! Have I died? Am I dead? Or am I dreaming? Because there's no way this could happen in the real world, no way! Although, this line makes no sense because you could just go back and heal. Wow, I'm actually pointing out something wrong in the 64 Things Wrong video. It's crazy, I know. Tombstoney? Tombstoney? That's my favorite move! Ah, dang it. I should have packed burn heals after all. In before my Pokemon don't even get burned. Okay, can these levels stop being so ridiculous? And there we go! We defeated Blaine with no burn heals. Take that, you liar! Aw, oh, yeah, it's side quest time! Here we go. Like, the Pokemon? Do you know why I called Cut the third worst HM move? Because the worst one, Flash, and the second worst, this one. Rock Smash? More like, Rock Trash! Ha! Ugh, HMs are so stupid, and they will forever and always be a stupid part of Pokemon. Ugh. Huh? HMs being removed and being replaced by something better? Psh! They'll never catch on. Think it's strength puzzles! Here it is, the final legendary bird, Moltres. It's no longer in Victory Road. But it is still just as ready to challenge us. Screw it. I'm using my Master Ball. Welcome to Two Island. Yes, these three islands that we're exploring today are named after the numbers 1, 2, and 3. 
But my naming sense is worse than that, so I'm not gonna gripe at that. At least we did get new stuff in this game. <laughs> I think I'm starting to hate these bikers just as much as Josh. How about no? I don't like you guys. Wow. Rewards for side quests couldn't get more lame. Okay, I thought I was done with life when I saw the Neko, but I was wrong. I'm done here. Man, it's stuff like this that makes me question whether the Pokedex is canon or not, rather than having a firm opinion. But seriously, this has to be the worst side quest ever. Now, we finished the side quest and explored all three islands. We're back in Kanto and we're ready to continue our journey that there isn't much left of. But what can we do? We only have two things wrong left. Hmm. I've got it! I'll just add more things wrong into the video. I skipped a lot in part one, so it makes sense. Now, let's continue our epic journey through the Pokemon League. We will take on the final gym, and then go into the Victory Road and Indigo Plateau. How our journey go during then? What obstacles will we face? What horrors? You go back to the first city and then enter the once closed off gym. It's basic stuff, really. Wow, really building up the suspense, aren't we, Clyde? Okay, listen. This plot twist made this rush endgame so great, oh my- This is it! The final battle against the last gym leader, who turned out to be Giovanni himself. Now, let's end this climactic battle- It was really easy with my overpowered Pokémon, so yeah. Also, I bet some of you are laughing at this joke number. Now, here we are! We have all eight gym badges, and we just defeated Hillary Clinton for the last time! Now, we just have to go through the victory road, then we will reach the League! What trials will we have to face? Find out! Strength puzzles! Ah! Hey look, it's the awesome TM that I never get to use! Oh no... AGAIN WITH THE STRENGTH PUZZLES! GOSH! Finally, we made it through the visual representation of my nightmares, and now, we are at this ending that will totally be easy. Now, let's go through the Elite Four so we can be the champion! Female will, double the offer, voice of potential, and... You don't get to become champion of the Pokémon League without knowing how to spam full restores! Wait, wrong game. Um... Edgy Cape Guy... Yeah... Excuse me, they're in their level 60s?! Okay, this is stupid. The level jumps in this game are worse than any ROM hack. Gen 1, worse Gen. No. No. No! Hillary did not beat me to the champion's title. No, she didn't! Oh no, she did! Well, defeating her now will make this more epic and make her feel worse. Just like in the US election, Donald Trump will make a random, comfort behind, unexpected victory. Let's go! Yes! We did it! The final boss has been taken down, Hillary has been dethroned, and we are now the champion of the Ganto Pokemon League. Professor Tree has come to congratulate us, and our adventure is complete. Finally, we are done with this game. Now, after 246 things wrong, our game is done, and I no longer have to play this game or work on this super tedious series again. And no, I'm not doing post-game. This game sucks. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I mean it when I say that I work really hard on these kind of videos. I spend hours on each one. That's why I'm not making any more of these. These are so hard to make that I decided that this should be the last one. I did make it a grand finale, so I hope you guys enjoyed this parody and the other three. Since I'm not making any more of these, how about you check out my other videos? They're good too. Sub to Josh, too. He's awesome. You know who was what in these videos by now? So that's it. Click the links on screen, and happy hunting!